We did it, guys. We went to the bins in Fort Worth, Texas. So we went to the bins. Um, I woke up this morning. I was planning on going to some other thrift stores that are out, <clears throat> that are south from me. Because uh, I told you guys in the last video that the more south I went, the better the thrifting got. So I was going to head down that way. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go to the bins. I'm going to check it out. I said I was going to check it out. Um, I wasn't <laughs> planning on buying stuff. I was just going to pop in there and check it out see how it looks see what's going on just get a little feel for it and then go back at a later date um but i went and uh i ended up hanging out in there for about an hour and picked up some items but i got a little bit of footage nothing exciting but i'll, I'll insert that footage before i do that I, I came home after the bins i took a shower um Went to buy some gloves because I didn't have gloves for the bins. So I bought some gloves and uh, I went to Target. I had to go make a, a quick little run to Target. And next to the Target, there is a thrift giant. So I went to it yesterday. Um, didn't find anything, but I decided to pop in there again since it's it was right there. It's right there um, and just check it out. And I found some things. So let me show you that. So first, then we'll get into the bins footage and the bins haul. All right, so this time around, they did have more toys out. I know there was a sale. It was a 25% off sale for seniors, and they had some colors, uh, uh, color tags on sale. And I had to learn something because a lot of the toys, look, I got this little Woody. You pull the drawstring, and I guess he has like a lasso probably, and he kind of whips it out. He makes a noise, but the battery is like dying. I wonder if, I wonder if I can switch that out. <coughs> Yeah, so he has written on here, it said 95 cents. And then I didn't know at first, I thought it was just like scribbles. They have like other markings, but it turns out that they put the letter. So they assign a color to it using a letter, like G for green, B for blue, Y for yellow, and so on. I was only seeing the yellow ones. So to me, it just looked like they put 95 cents and then made a line under it or something like that. And then this time I went, I saw that they had letters. So I asked, I said, hey, do these letters um, correspond with the, the colors? And they said, yeah. So they said G, green, blue, B blue, so on. So I was like, oh, okay, cool. So now I understand how it works there. Again, things I have to learn uh, being in the new, thrifting in a new state, new city, new all that stuff, um, new stores. But yeah, so we picked up this... Um, Woody at Thrift Giant, the local one here. Uh, I picked up this. What was that? Oh, um, picked up this. Uh, um. Oh my God! Why can't I think of his name? Uh, War Machine, War Machine, and he is heavy. So I think he's one of those. What are they called? Those those metal ones? Metal. It's like a metal figure. It's, he's like die cast and he's heavy and he's a nice little figure. Um, so picked him up there. There was only one item of discount that I picked up and I'll show you what that is in a little bit. Um, and then I picked up this Voltron figure there also. I thought it was pretty cool. And um, yeah, so like I said, a lot of them are just written on here. The price, $2.99. Uh, 199 95 cents so I thought that was pretty cool so I picked him up and then I picked up this Batman plush and he had a tag on here a blue tag so he was 25% uh, off blue tags were 25% off this time around so we got a cool little Batman plush tempted to keep him I do collect some Batman figures not too many I do have like hot toys Michael Keaton versions and the old Adam West one because <clears throat> there's just so many Batman action figures out there. I was tempting and tempted in collecting the, the ones from the 90s, the ones that it was like the Michael Keaton, the Batman Returns one, and they just came in all kinds of different colors with all kinds of different gimmicks and just it was like scuba diving Batman and helicopter flying Batman and 
Yeah, so I was kind of tempted in, uh, if I find those to uh, collect those. But yeah, so nice clean little plush. So that would be nice for a, either for my shelf or for a, um, for a, uh, uh, what am I trying to say? Booth, when I have one. And then, this was the cool thing here. I found this Funko uh, Agent Smith from The Matrix, number 158. He was chilling out there. Uh, boxes in decent condition. Big, I'd say it's in pretty good condition. There's a little bit of damage back here. Um, but found him there, picked him up, looked him up on eBay. And it turns out that he has sold for about 30 bucks, 40 bucks, 5 bucks, 50 bucks. So that's pretty awesome. That uh, if I sell him, that I'll probably put him up on my eBay store. If I sell him, that covers this whole uh, purchase and some puts me in the profit. So that is cool. I saw it up there and I was like, oh, okay, he was 3 49 or 3 399 or something like that. So I saw once I saw I, I looked him up on eBay, I was like, yep, I'm gonna take him home with me. So yes, the bins. We went to the Fort Worth bins. There are, there's a bins in uh, outlet in Fort Worth, and there is a new outlet in Dallas. So I'm interested in seeing what's the difference between both of them. Um, you know, just the rules and the price. At this bins that I went to, uh, where's the receipt? I bought 20 pounds worth of stuff. And it's $1.59 per pound. So the total was $31.80. $34.43 with tax. So that's what I paid for all these goodies you're about to see. Now again, I was planning on just popping in there. You know, taking a little lap, checking it out, seeing, seeing what's going on. Um, and um, 
I did get a little nervous, be not nervous, but I was like, oh man, because when I got there, I saw the sign and it said clothing uh, outlet. So I was like, oh, I remember seeing that on Tendo's channel. And it, I think if I think back to that video, I, I don't remember what he picked up, but I don't think it was too much stuff. So I was like, oh man, this is, this is the one. Um, but I decided to pop in there anyways. And I have experienced the bins in LA before, but the ones in Santa Ana, and those are clothes. That one was a clothing only. Uh, it didn't have hard goods. Um, so I never ventured out into LA into the Glendale area just cause that was a drive. Um, and I was always too lazy to do that drive. Uh, to check out like the the bins that has the whole everything that has everything but yeah so I'll give you a little I'll give you a little story before we get into the haul really short so I got to the bins I saw the sign I was like oh man I was like oh I was like well let me go in there and check it out went in there stepped inside looked to my right and first of all I was surprised there wasn't a lot of people there so I was like cool um as soon as I got in there, I was waiting for somebody to yell at me, telling me I was doing something wrong just because the bins are so many rolls. Um, and I looked to my left. As I entered to the left is all clothing bins. And then I looked to my right and there's like a wall that's dividing the room. And there are hard goods in the bins over on that side. And probably about two rows of hard goods in the clothing area. <clears throat> so I was like, okay, cool. Walked over to the hard goods section, started looking around the bins, and um, I was like, I'm not going to buy anything. And I looked in the bins, saw something. I was like, okay, cool. Oh, you know what? I'll take this. Eh, you know what? I'll take this. And I started getting a, like a little handful of stuff, saw a little bin, grabbed the bin, put the stuff in there. And I was like, yeah, let me look a little bit around. Uh, got more stuff, got more stuff, ran out of space in that bin, had to get a bigger bin. And it just kept peeling up. And then at the end of the day, I ended up walking out with a little plastic, like, trash can full of stuff. And I was just like, oh, okay. Let me just look a little bit more. Let me look a little bit, a little bit more. I was nervous a little bit at first because I, I was waiting for somebody to say something. But it was cool. It was I had a good time. Um, nobody was, like, you see the bins and these people shoving and doing this and that. But there wasn't that many people there. So it was kind of cool you had like two or three four bins to yourself just to kind of look in one and look in the other one uh people were kind of spread out there was no really no rules i i didn't run into any problems um i didn't know if i could film so that's why you only saw a little bit of footage uh but i think now knowing the layout knowing what goes down in there i'll probably be able to film a little bit more i still don't know if you can film in there but i'm gonna try it um <clears throat> Yeah, so it was awesome. I ended up going in there, getting stuff, and then they switch out a lane at a time. And when they're switching the carts out, the bins out, the lane, people start coming up to the lane and lining up on both sides. And then they put new bins in that lane. And you can't look through the bins until they say go. Once they say go, people jump into that bin and start looking around. And I didn't do that. I kind of waited for them to start getting whatever they wanted and backing out from it and um yeah but it was it was fun it was fun so i will be going back i will be going back i had a good time i enjoyed it and it was funny because i was like okay i'm gonna leave now oh saw them setting up for a new a new aisle i was like ah, let me wait let me see what i find i did that like two or three times but anyways so having said that you should see a lot more bin bin picking hunting uh in the future on my channel here and i definitely want to go check out the dallas ones now um i am about 45 minutes away from the fort worth fort worth bins so and i'm probably about 40 minutes from dallas um <clears throat> so i think going down there and going to the bins is actually uh, a lot better for me and makes it makes the trip worth it because I find some cool fun stuff. So I mean stuff that I enjoy. We'll see if you enjoy it too. But anyways, let's get into the haul now. Let me show you what I picked up. Now all the stuff I was finding was kind of at the bottom, just little figures, little toys. You guys know I pick up toys. It was kind of at the bottom, so I had to like dig, move stuff around, figure, 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 figure. 
toss it in the bin, toss it in the bin. <clears throat> so let's get into it. I did find two Pokemon cards at the bottom of the bin. And they're, I'm surprised they're in the condition that they're in. They're like no scratches, no rips, no folds, nothing. Um, I don't know much about Pokemon outside of Pikachu, Ash, uh, Charizard, Bulbasaur, and uh, Squirtle. And that's just because those are people I've seen. I, <coughs> I never played Pokemon when I was younger. I didn't... Because this was kind of a little bit right after my time. Like, as soon as I got out of toys, um, this is when Pokemon came around. So I didn't I didn't get into it. Uh, Monique did experience the Pokemon uh, craziness when she was little. Or she was younger. So she's more familiar with it. But she wasn't familiar with these. Because these are um, ones from 2017. This guy, Lantern. And 2015... Groove, groove oil, grove oil, grove oil, gra I don't know. But there you go. So we got those. And then I was able to scoop out a little tub full of Lego. And I was checking it out, making sure. Oh, this isn't real Lego. Um, but I was, every time I saw Lego pieces, I just made sure that they had the Lego stamps on there. Um, and the majority of them did. So. I was like, cool. That, that's the one thing I was looking for. It's just making sure that they have the Lego stamp on there. And there was a lot of little pieces here. And got like a horse. Um, oh, check it out. It's from Minecraft. Um, yeah. Little like wall pieces. And I think this is more from like the Friends line. The Friends line of uh, Lego. Because a lot of like pink and purple pieces. But I figured that'd be cool. Toss them into a little baggie and uh, sell them off that way. Um, <clears throat> now, real quick, um, I've been talking about a booth recently. I want to open a booth. There's another place I'm going to go check out where I saw that they have vendor, a few vendors similar to what I want to sell. So I'm going to go check them out and see how the feel is on the weekend and see how busy it gets. And because um, my you see a lot of stuff like this and a lot of kids like a lot of this stuff and it's all gets donated but a lot of the time it just ends up going all the way through and just gets dumped out at the end so i want to find you know figures like this little figures like this bundle them up and my plan for a booth you know obviously things change as you start doing it but is i want to you know bundle up little little figures like this minecraft baggies and you know solo figures and just have a um what's it called a pegboard and just hang up you know baggies of toys just kind of like how you see at the at the thrift store <clears throat> all right and i did find a couple of plush there was more plush there but i didn't get into the plush i just got what i liked i got this bison here and this is from wild republic which sells pretty well on ebay um, but somebody was hitting me up about plush and with my experience with plush is either you have to have super good plush, like for it to be selling constantly, or you have to list a lot of plush, um, check out, um, check out zombie bargain hunter. I'll link his uh, channel below. I learned a lot about plush from that channel. If you're not familiar with it, he does tons of plush. He gets those Penske trucks and goes to the Goodwill and buys um, Gaylords full of plush. Uh, just pounds and pounds and pounds and pounds of, of, of plush. And he, he has, uh, I think he has an anchor store on eBay. So that's where I learned a lot of my plush. So check his channel out. But yeah, so Bison, I thought that was cool. And then I found two little pet shops little list pet shops is this one yeah little list pet shops so i picked those two up these were actually kind of the first things i found i was kind of like oh okay and then after i was like whoa yeah yeah that's cool yeah and then we found a vintage alf oh, where's the cat that was a terrible impression but we got alf and he's not too bad condition um and he is dated 1986 so he still has the tag. So that is pretty cool. 
Um, I saw him and I was like, yep, surprised that was still there. And I did get a hat. I picked up a hat. This is the only non-toy item I picked up, but I thought it was cool. And it's this like vintage trucker hat and I bought it because it's in pretty good condition. The foam in here still looks good. Um, and it's very clean. So my, maybe it's not vintage. I don't know, but I thought it was cool because check it out. Sandy's Donuts and Cafe. 113 West Main. 444-1669. Azzle. Is that Azzle? I don't know. Azzle, Texas. I thought that was cool. So I was like, maybe I could sell that. That's a pretty cool hat right there. All right, so let's continue with the toys. I found this dealy here, this little case, uh, Minecraft case here. So I think this is like a carrying case for these little minis here. So you see that? You can just display them. So that's pretty cool. Handles there, everything's cool. Nothing's broken. Uh, so I thought that was awesome. And then you could store them. This thing closes well too. So the minis ain't going to go anywhere. So you could store your minis there too. Like that. And he's the only one I found, I think. He's the only one I found. So we got that. So that's pretty cool. And then I picked this dude up. Because it is Stitch. For me, uh... Stitch is a sought after character and uh, he sells for me. So I picked him up and he, this is for those, what are they called? Zoom Zooms? Those little like bean looking dudes. They actually look just like this. Uh, and I found the little ones, Captain America in there. So I was like, Stitch looks great. So I decided to pick that guy up. Picked up a little Imaginex. Uh, I was actually excited about this. Uh, imagine imagine next um, pizza planet truck so you put the I think it shoots like pizza from the from the front there but looks great so I was like cool stickers aren't getting peeled off I don't know I don't know if I'm gonna keep this or not oh, open that there yeah you put the pizzas in there and then you put the figure up here probably shoots them out so that is cool saw in the footage that I came across some Nerf guns. Uh, instead of taking the whole Nerf gun, I decided to just take the clips. <clears throat> this one has something in here. Or this one. There's something in here. It's like somebody or something somehow got in into in through the holes. And it is a Lego piece. See that? So I know it's not broken. So, And I was like, okay, cool. Uh, clips. Let me see if I find any more. Those are the only two I found. I did buy, <clears throat> I did buy two Nerf guns. Um, I think this one's just really cool. The the hammer shot. Unfortunately, it's broken. See how it's not rotating. Rotating. So I was, I opened it up to see if I were able to fix it, but I couldn't figure it out. So I guess it's no good. Um, <clears throat> but maybe I could paint this up or something, and you know, sell it as a cosplay. Cos play uh weapon i like to paint i like to create some things so maybe we'll do that huh? start a new line of income there with some broken nerf toys <coughs> and then we got this little uh triad elite that one works so that was awesome picked up this little ben 10 wrist piece uh, i'm not familiar with ben 10 i know what it is but i've never seen like a cartoon or anything about it um oh is this like a shooter oh it sounds like the spinners it's almost, almost like beyblade is that what this is oh i gotta put new batteries in it the batteries were dead um and i didn't have any batteries for it so i gotta see if that works or not so that is cool picked up this um i saw this guy on the floor he was just on the floor and i saw him so i picked him up and i threw him in my basket i said come on buzz you can come with me um i don't know if he has anything else that goes with him except for like the shooter the little missile that goes here um but yeah but pretty cool got that and I found these items there. They look like Play-Doh molds. One is for sure because it says Play-Doh on it. This one is Bob the Builder. And 
I thought these were cool, so I picked them up. I put a little bit of meat in there, you know, form the meat, make some little meatballs shaped like Bob the Builder. And then I got one of Cookie Monster. So this one does say Play-Doh on it. So I thought that was cool also. So pick that up. I found this uh, Nerf item. I'm not sure what it is. Maybe somebody could tell me down below. Comment below if you know what this is. I'm sure some of you guys will know what this is. I just saw it and I was like, hey, let me take it. Never seen it before. And found a Thomas. Gee, this is like, it's funny that I found this one at the bins. Because I find trains at the thrift stores, but they are just beat up. They are beat. So I was surprised this one's in decent condition. Uh, no, that was just the light glare. But pretty cool. Yeah. It's one of those you push back. One of those pullbacks. <clears throat> and then we got a little... Um, Minecraft block here. Uh, this one you turn on and it lights up. So that is pretty cool. Got that. Big Lego piece in this for the, the friends. Friends daily. I got a little tubby um, here full of stuff. I think this is Bulbasaur. A McDonald's toy probably, right? Burger King. Burger King. We got that, R2-D2 Pez, Riddler Pez, a uh, little um, Batfleck Pez, that's pretty cool. Got that, um, there's some little, just little things that I found. Uh, here goes a Zoom Zoom, uh, Captain America little cuphead figure and this one had a price of five bucks on it individually priced there got a ten million dollar man ted dibiase here uh i don't know if, what this is from 2015 i'm not sure million dollar man a fidget spinner and we got some of those marvel uh play school heroes or whatever they're called I forgot this dude's name, but he is heavy. And he looks great. Look at that. He looks great. <clears throat> Got some Scooby Doo action. A little Bambi action. This guy here, <laughs> I thought he was cool. Don't know who that is. Um I I can't I know this is from a kids TV sh TV show. Is it from that not Arthur. I don't know. Comment uh, if you know where, what cartoon or what animation this is from. Got that guy there. <clears throat> Got a little Texas Longhorn here. Figure, you know what? Let's get one. The Paw Patrol action. Uh, this guy was in the Lego box. I guess I scooped him up with everything else. Don't know who or what that is. <clears throat> this was a cool little vehicle so so it's, I, i've seen these guys you guys familiar with these uh characters this is a newer one this is from 2008 mattel uh again comment below if you know who that is it's a cool little car and it's um the vehicle part is um die cast so that's pretty cool got this matchbox uh little nasa car i thought that was Pretty awesome. That's cool. And then we have we found a Han Solo, just chilling there. So picked them up. And I have two non toy, two more non toy items that I found. Uh, the first one I'll show you is this little tool here, and this is for um. I think when you punch those holes, those little grommets into like a banner. I think that's what this is for. I saw it and I was like, I gotta take it. Might as well take it. Got that. And then I found this sealed pack of Avery Avery labels. And these are printable bag toppers with bags. So this is exactly what I want to do uh, when I have a toy booth up. You know, tossing three 
um, Pez dispensers in a baggie, put a little uh, label on it. I don't know, maybe promote my YouTube channel on there uh, if I'm allowed to do that. Put the price on there. Um, so that's that's something I'd like to do. So that is pretty cool. And it was still sealed. It is still sealed. So I thought that was awesome. The last item. The last item I found here. And it is this Fender Mustang uh, guitar for uh, the Xbox. Uh, and it's for Rock Band 3. So it has all the controllers on here. And it looks great. Um, this was a guitar I've never seen before. Check that out. Um, it's like the fret board. It just has, you can push all these buttons. So I don't know what kind of rock band game this is. I, you're doing on here doing solos and stuff. So uh, I dabbled with guitar a little bit back in the day. Uh, I was a drummer since retired. I was in a couple of bands back in the day. Um, but uh, yeah, I haven't played drums in a long time. I just never had space to buy a set and, and set it up. Um, but yeah, so Fender wireless wireless Stratocaster guitar controller rock band three and yeah, This was in the bin uh, I Don't know do you have experience with buying guitars at the bins are they usually do they work? Do they usually not work? Because uh, I looked the sucker up on eBay and he goes for a nice little price. So I was like huh. And it's funny because it's like like if, like if it was stringed up. It's not that little switch thing from the other guitars. This one, but like it has strings. So you can pick the strings and play and stuff. Oh, I was like, what is this? So um, it is missing a little, one of the little knobs here. Um, but yeah, so I don't know. And I don't have a way of testing it. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I put batteries in it, maybe would it light up or something? Battery compartment is clean. I don't know to figure it out yep, but yeah so that is pretty cool so that is it guys that was my haul today a couple items from the th for thrift giant and the rest from the bins had a great time at the bins um i would definitely be going back multiple times a week <clears throat> maybe it'll be a twice a week type deal uh i had a good time i liked it and i still gotta check out the dallas bins and um uh, it was awesome. I had a good time. It's, it was fun. It was fun. And uh, there were some people that actually that were there nice. This lady was trying to give me some golf balls. She's like, look, they're so a Hispanic lady she's talking to me in Spanish. She's like, the golf balls are still new. They're new. They're still taped up. And I was like, okay, cool. Thanks. So I took them. Um, I didn't buy them because, you know, I just, I didn't need them. But I, I was like, oh, thank you. You know? Yeah. I was like, they're cool. <laughs> I don't know. I put them in a different bin. Um, but yeah, she was excited about them. So I didn't want to be like, oh, no, I don't need that crap, you know. Um, but yeah, so my experience was a great experience today um, at the bins. And uh, excited, excited, glad I went. Uh, I'm excited about it. And I hope to make a lot more bin videos for you guys. And I'll try to film in there if I can. It's just that sometimes I forget about filming about filming once I get in like in the zone of grabbing picking stuff or looking for stuff and I just forget about filming uh filming kind of distracts me but I'll do my best to film for you guys uh so yeah so um that's it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're new to this channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see so you can come back for more uh toy hunting thrift hunting uh videos subscribe as I say, flick that bell down there, flick it, uh, so you get notifications, whatever. I don't know. I'm not used to saying this, but I figure I should say it uh, every once in a while. Um, subscribe, comment, like, all that good stuff. Let me know about your experience at the bins. Uh, do you go, Are you if you're watching, do you go to the Fort Worth or Dallas bins? Um, how do you like it? Maybe we'll meet up there. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so... Thanks for watching again. Said that again for the third time. I'm just excited. I was excited about this. This was awesome. See you guys on the next one.